Hello, my name is Michael Dalton and I'm a food technologist and today I'm going to show you how to make a probiotic drink, a fruit probiotic drink. So today we're just using fruit. Now, um, I have a display of types. This is a chili, this is beetroot, this is melon, this is orange and turmeric and this is ginger and they these are the things i take daily the drinks i take daily with my with my uh anytime i drink water anytime i don't put it into hot anytime i i make up a water uh, a dilution of tea it's it's a tea powder and, and and then i add my probiotics but today as i said simple fruit simple probiotics now um the beauty of this thing is that i'm going to be able to, to extract probiotics the ones that you need for your gut good ones and also later on we'll be able to extract the enzymes because the enzymes are harder to get as you can see this is an aloe vera i can make a probiotic out of an aloe vera really i can make a probiotic out of any fruit or vegetable even meat but i don't touch meat so um not to say that i'm not a vegetarian it's just that uh, meat it just comes with problems um but these doesn't come with problems so into my into my fruit, I chopped up my I washed, just washed my fruit here. I didn't do anything extraordinary heated or anything like that. I don't want to involve any heat. So as I do, as I get it prepared, I put it into a fill a jar and I put in some sugar. Looks like half a teaspoon of sugar. And um, it's just to start off because the sugar is in the fruit. So I'm just starting off my bacteria, giving them an easy start, and I give them a little bit of salt. And I only give them a shake of a salt. The salt is uh, is important for uh, chemical reactions uh, involving bacteria and reactions that involve uh, any sort of uh, living organism, salt is needed because it provides a, an electrical potential. Um, anyway, so we're getting off the point. So we're, I have it open here, as you can see. So I pour my water in. Now this water is non-chlorine water. So you can either leave it out in the sun or you can boil it and, and, and get it cool and use the cool vi uh, version of it or you can buy a bottle of it and um, use a uh, bottle of water mineral water but um anyway it's really up to you but i use normally use i use the water that's uh, in the kettle that's cool down so i have my fill it up there it is and um i leave it in the open it dissolves itself i leave it in the open and i put it uh, in a in tissue of some sort or a napkin or even any sort of filter and i put it an elastic band around it stop the insects getting in on it and leaving deposits that i don't want protein deposits and such so now the air is coming in and the uh, the oxygen um, and the bacteria will pass through this uh, rudimentary filter and they will come into the into the into the liquid at the bottom here and um, i leave it out in the open for six hours and then i take it off and i put back on my lid and i put it on tightly and I put this somewhere warm, usually in the kitchen or somewhere in warm, in a dark place. So I'm, I'm mimicking the environment of, uh, of, of anaerobic bacteria. I want to collect anaerobic bacteria. So I'm tightening up, no oxygen. I'm filling it up with water, so I'm pushing out the oxygen. But I'm leaving a space so there's carbon dioxide there. And it'll use the carbon dioxide. And the fact that it's dark, because our good is dark, there will be no bacteria that are photosynthesis. You know like cyanobacter so i leave that in the dark and i in every eight hours i will, I will see that it, it will tell me by the push-up whether there's air in it and if i push it and this it resists i open it and i keep doing that every eight hours and it resists it desists after about a week now you can let it build up for 12 hours 24 hours glass is able to, 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 to suppress uh, that type of pressure so it won't explode but um, the, at the end of a week or so roughly a week it'll stop um anaerobic respiration so in here i will have um lactic acid and anaerobic bacteria all enjoying themselves and producing lactic acid which is um, a, a byproduct not alcohol it's a byproduct for anaerobic respiration so as you can see um i've made lots of products out of these and it's the, it's all about time the longer you leave it the more extraction you can have because beetroot contains very important enzymes bromelins Chili, piperines, very, very good you, for you. Ginger, as you know, and uh, turmeric. I mean, the 
I've written books about the, the health benefits of turmeric. But I, the, the thing I am doing here is a cold press. So what you're worried that this is the first stage of probiotics, a cold press. So there's nothing being heated, but we're trying to keep a sterilized environment. So thank you for listening to me and I uh, hope to see you again. Subscribe and like me on the channel that I'm uh, leaving this on. Thank you.